Here we go. All right, so I got the template out and folded it. And now I line up the template. And if it's a little off, it's fine. And sometimes the cutters don't work really well on tinfoil. So I do kind of score it as much as possible. Sometimes it worked. Yeah, this one didn't. And then I follow up with scissors. So now we have our piece of tin foil that goes in the center. Now take the duct tape of your choice and get it started here. And you just overlap, you know, make it so that it's a little bit over. I like to do it like a half an inch over the edges on each side. And then you hear Dewey over there crying. I didn't tell you what happened. Well, I told you in the video that you guys haven't seen yet, but he jumped off the couch uh, two days before, well, on the 22nd of December and herniated a disc and pa paralyzed himself on his back legs. And so we've been to the vet three times, the emergency vet three times so far. And we've had to... He's on crate rest for eight weeks and he's on all kinds of medications and he can't walk. can't walk. He's paralyzed. We have to take him out and help him pee. And then it's just been, it's been, it's been a uh, very, very stressful time and he's only three so you know okay so you tear it up from the bottom and you see how much was over on each side and then you place that there side sticky side up and then you go and you remove the corner so you go from each side and out and you remove the little corner from each so it looks like that. And that's for when we fold it over. Okay. You guys had requested me do a duct tape wallet, so um, this is kind of getting that done. It's not as elaborate as I usually do it, but you know. Okay, so now they're whispering over there. I wonder if you can hear them. We will see when I play it back. If you can hear them whisper. Mom and Anna are whispering. Okay, so now we cut pieces that are about seven and a fourth in length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a fourth. 
Doesn't have to be exact because we're going to fold over and you'll see. It's not an exact science. Some of the ones that I do have to be exact because like the accordion one has to be exact or it won't fit all together. This one is pretty, pretty easy. And if you didn't do, if you didn't want to do the duct tape, all you would do is you would take this piece of aluminum foil and you would wrap it with this and around the edges and close it and then it's done. Put, put your cards in. And so you line it up on one edge because one edge won't have the fold over, you'll see. And this edge will have a fold over, so you don't you don't care that the that it's see how this one lines up with the edge of the tin foil, and this one has the opening. And you're we're gonna fold this over, so you're going to not have to worry about that. And the man one, because I made one for my dad, and all I did for my dad's is I did one like this that was, and covered it in the plastic, and it was the length of his regular wallet. He has a trifold wallet, and I did it in the dimensions of his wallet, and then so it could slip in where the cash goes. And then once it's folded over, then it protects the cards that are on the inside. So that works as well. See, for so if you had this and you were only doing just the, you know, not doing the, the duct tape, you would just fold it over and put clear tape over here, clear tape on this side, and then put your cards in there. So that's how easy that is. But this one I wanted to make a little pretty. Okay, so now that we have it looking like that, okay, now you fold over the top or the bottom and this side and then fold over the side that has the exposed And I want to make this a little bit okay. So then you <laughs> fold this over, dogs. And so you have something that looks like this. This is the inside. This is the outside. Okay. So what we do is we fold it over so that it is aligned with the edge. And you want to do make a crease where you're folding it over. So you crease it down and you'll see why that's important. Okay, so now you have the crease in there. Lord, it's folded over. So now you take your clear tape and you cut a piece that is about three fourths to three and a half inches long. Two, three. And half. And you decide which side you want to be your top and which one you want to be your bottom. And you put this half on and half off. Let me see if I can 
so you can see the, the shine, the glare of it. And this will, when your cards go in, so this is the bottom. And when your cards go in, we're going to be turning that up. So when your cards go in, it's not going to hit the sticky that we'll have on this side. So that's why that part is important. So do that over like that. And we already have the crease, which is why we did that. And then you just line up the up to there. And you might have to do it a couple times because to make it so that it is, there we go. So now it's in place like that. And you have, this is the top, sorry, dog's barking. Papa now came in. Okay, and then we fold this remaining piece over like that. So now you have a pocket. And now you have, if when you get down here, it can, nothing can get through because you have that piece of plastic, of clear tape so that it protects the bottom. Okay, so now you can do either do one of two things. You can cover the bottom with the duct tape that you have, or you can use the uh, clear tape. I'm going to use the, I changed my mind halfway through. I'm going to use the clear tape. And you do a five inch piece. Four five inch piece, and you can get it off the okay. And now you put it halfway on, halfway off, just like that. You can kind of see it. <laughs> There it is, halfway on, halfway off. And then we're doing the same thing with the corners, cutting them. So that we can fold them over. And then what I like to do is on the, the flaps that are on the side, I like to do a little bit of an angle because you're going to be kind of like wrapping it like a present and you want it to fold over and not have any overlap. So you do it at kind of an up angle. So you're just cutting off that little, you really can't see it, that little piece like that. And then you just take it and wrap that part up and then the side flaps over, side flap over. And then I take a, what are my little, full, little uh, squares of Velcro and I cut it in half because I don't want it to interfere with the cards Ugh, getting through the whole thing and then I undo each side remove the protective paper put it right at the as close to the center if you can see it and right at the top and then this side there. And now you have your protector for all your cards. And that's done. And that took us about 15 minutes or so. And if I wasn't talking, it takes me about, I don't know, about seven to 10 minutes to do one. And very, very easy. 
So I wanted to share that with you. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.